Hello, welcome to free school exam preparation. Today we are going to talk about Cambridge IGCSE Computer Science 0478. This is to target the syllabus from 2023 to 2025, and today we are going to learn about the first unit, data representation. So we are going to learn about different number systems, and today we are going to talk about binary and binary and the conversion between those two systems. So now let's just take a look. What is denary and what is binary? So denary is a number in base 10, and the available digits are 0, 1, 2 until 9. So let me give you one example. So for example, if we have a number um, 62015, okay, this is a denary number. So what does this mean? So we look at this digit 5. So that shows we have five of the ones, because this is a ones digit. And this one is called a tens digit. So that means we have one of the tens. Tens also um, ten, equal to 10 raised to the power of one. And this zero is a hundreds digit, right? So that means we have zero of the hundreds, which is 10 raised to the power of two. And this two here is a thousands digits, right? So that means we have two of the 10 raised to the power of three, which is 1,000. And this six is a 10,000 digit. So that means we have six of the 10 raised to the power of four. So actually we can notice everything here is in base 10. So that's why we call it a binary number. And now we look at a binary number. So let me give you one example. If we have 10011, so what does this mean? So still from the right to the left, this one here shows we have one of the units. And this one shows we have one of the two. So one of, um, times two raised to the power of one. And this shows we have zero of the 2 raised to the power of 2. And this 0 here shows we have 0 of the 2 raised to the power of 3. And finally, this one here shows we have 1 of the 2 raised to the power of 4. And you sum up, so it's equal to 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 and plus 16. So we got 19. So we notice here everything is based in base 2. So that's the difference between binary number and binary number. And the second difference is for the binary number, because everything is in base 2, so the only available digits are 0 and 1. So let me just give you a side example. So let's say if I have something in base uh, 5. Right? So you can always write something as 1 plus something times 5 raised to the power of 1 plus the digit times 5 raised to the power of 2, and something times 5 raised to the power of 3. And the available digit will be starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So count exceed the base number 5. Okay, so this is our um, definition of the binary and binary number. So now let's take a look at an example of how to convert a binary number into a binary number. So as I just mentioned, right, so every time we do this question, we always go from the right to the left. So basically, this one shows how many ones are here. And this shows how many two raised to the power of one. And this one shows how many two raised to the power of two. And this one is how many two raised to the power of three. And this is how many two raised to the power of four and how many 2 raised to the power of 5. And now we just write this down. So um, still from the right to the left. So 1 times 1 plus 0 of the 2 times uh, 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 1 of the 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 0 times 2, 4 plus 1 times 2, 5. Right? 
and then you do a calculation so this is one plus zero plus this is four and then this is eight plus zero and this is 32 so we got 45 so that means if we convert this binary representation into the standard binary number the one we use every day it should be 45 okay so now let's take a look at another example so we do the same thing always from the right to the left right so this one is how many one this is how many two raised to the power of one how many two raised to the power of two and two raised to the power of three and two four two five um two six two seven um two eight and two nine okay and after that you can just sum up so one times one from the right and zero times is two raised to the power of one plus one times two two plus zero times two three plus uh, one times two four plus one times two five plus one times two six and plus one times two seven uh, almost done zero times two eight and finally one times two nine and you can do the calculation by yourself okay so it's quite straightforward now let's take a look how do we convert a binary number into binary number so there are two methods um, and i like the first one but it's up to you so for this example i will show you how to use method one so method one is um, basically you just list all the powers of two so let's say the first number is one okay and then we have two raised to the power of one equals to two two raised to the power of two equals to four two raised to the power of three equals to so you just use four times two eight and two times four is eight times two sixteen and two raised to the power of five is sixteen times two so it's thirty two and then we have 64 and we have 128 and then we have 256 maybe we can try a little bit more so this equals to 512 okay so now let's go back to our target binary number which is 173 and we find out where 173 is so it's in between here right so we choose a smaller number one two eight so we know one seven three equals to one two eight plus something and now plus what so we just need to minus one two eight so we got 45 okay so that means it's equal to one two eight plus 45 and let me just write down for now but you don't need to write this in the future um, I will show you what to write so 45 okay is in between these two numbers and we choose a smaller one again so we keep this 128 plus 32 so what is left um, so we have 13 right because it's 45 minus 32 we have 13 left so where's 13 13 is in between these two numbers and the smaller one is 8. So we have 1 to 8 plus 32 plus is 8 plus 5. Okay, so what is 5? Five? 5 is between 4 and 8. And we choose a smaller one again, so which is 4. So it's 1 to 8 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4. And then we only have 1 left. You don't need to do anything else so this is our <coughs> um, <coughs> step that we need to write for this um, question so we can just write 173 equals to so I'm just um, sorry it's a bit messy so I just need to cross out so 173 equals to 128 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 and now we just convert this into the um, powers of 2. So this is 2 raised to the power of 7. And then this is 2 raised to the power of 5 and 3 and 2 and plus 1. Now we just need to convert this one into the binary number. Still, we need to do it from the right to the left. So this is 1. 
Do we have two raised to the power of one? No, we don't. So we just write zero here. And two raised to the power of two, yes. Two raised to the power of three, yes. And two raised to the power of four, we don't have it. Two raised to the power of five, two raised to the power of six, two raised to the power of seven. Yes, we do. So we just write this. So this will be our binary number. So I'm just writing a parenthesis with a smaller two here, just to emphasize it's in a binary representation. Okay, so let's just look at the method two. So 5126 is a binary number, and we want to convert this one into a binary. So this time, we're going to talk about method two. So method two. What we need to do is we just use this number to divide two, right? So we got two, five, six, three. Because this is, a, uh, this is an even number, so we have no remainder, right, after dividing two. And then we divide two again. So it's one, uh, two, sorry, one, two, eight, uh, one. And then we have remainder one because this is um, an odd number. And we divide two again. So two, six, four, zero, and still we have remainder one. And uh, we divide two again, so two, three, two, zero, and then remainder is zero. And divide two, one, six, zero, remainder is zero. And divide two, eight, zero, zero, divide two, four, zero, zero, um, two, twenty, remainder is zero. And two is ten, remainder is zero. And two, uh, five, remainder is zero. And now we divide two again, so it's two. And two here, remainder is one. And then we continue, one, zero. Okay, so after we see one here, we can stop. And now what we need to do is from this one, okay, and go all the way up, right? So we just write down this number. So it's um, one, zero, one, and then how many zero? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, and we have one, one, zero. So this is a binary representation of five, one, two, six. So in order to uh, make sure we got the correct answer, so what we need to do is we can also convert this one back into the binary number. So now let's just do this as an exercise. Um, so we just go from the right to the left. So this one is um, how many ones? This is how many two raised to the power of one. This is two raised to the power of two, and this is two raised to the power of three, two raised to the power of four, and two raised to the power of five, um, six, seven, two raised to the power of eight, two raised to the power of nine, two raised to the power of ten, and two to the power of 11, and two to the power of 12. And now we just write from the um, right to the left. So we have zero times one, plus one times two to the power of one, and plus one times two, two. And all these are zero, I'm not going to write it out. And then we start from here. So one times two to the power of 10, and plus one times two, uh, 12. So we have, 2 plus 4 plus 1, 0, 2, 4 plus um, 4, 0, 9, 6, right? So you can do a calculation. Uh, 4, 0 times 4, 4, 0, 9, 6, 2 plus 4, 6. Oh, uh, yes, so we get 5, 1, 2, 6, right? So that's exactly the binary number um, we are trying to convert. So that means we have the correct result. Okay, so this is our first unit. Um, thank you for listening and hope you enjoy it. And we wish you good luck for your exam. And if you are interested, please subscribe to our channel, Free School Exam Preparation. Thank you.